Hey, hey, beautiful, beautiful Libras. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Forgive my outfits, guys. I've been working outside. I've got a lot on the go right now, so just bear with me. Everybody want to thank you so very much for liking the videos, for subscribing to the channels, and guys, thanks so very much to everybody who has joined the membership. It's growing, and I owe a lot of that to the Libran community, so thanks guys for that. Now let's find out what the current energies for Libra are. Libra energy. Ooh. Libra. What about the beautiful Librans? This card wants to show, guys. The word wants to be written. Dream a beautiful dream, Libra. Diving for light here. Every journey starts with a single step. Have faith in this process. You could be having to release allegiances, releasing people around you, people who you thought were your allies. Libra energy. The violet flame, invoke the cosmic diamond violet flame. Transmute all that is not love. Look for the signs, pay attention and expect an answer. Pure intention, find clarity, surrendering the ego. Let go of your ego and it's like something here, a caring community. Participate and belong. Enrich your life. This one. Be a beacon, an inspiration, and light the way for others. Cocoon of white light. Rest in perfect love and understand oneness. So you're being inspired to find clarity you are inspiring others and maybe you've got a caring community of people around you you're being told to participate and to belong enrich your life be a beacon for others it is uh, releasing allegiances transmuting all that is not love so getting rid of people around you you may be showing signs of who needs to go at this time hmm. it's to do with cycles be confident hmm. some of you might have been made to feel invisible or you feel invisible but be confident. You're being congratulated. Something, a new beginning. Congratulations. This is new life. This is new being inspired again. Successfully completing some kind of cycle. Going from feeling invisible to feeling confident. And getting fulfillment. Things that are fulfilling to you. You're being congratulated on your success. Hmm. This is about a child. A journey. Your occupation. Hmm. You're being congratulated for seeing false people. Forming allegiances, cutting allegiances with false people. You're being congratulated and I think now you're being gifted. Maybe with a house. 
maybe going to a courthouse. This person is in despair and it looks like you are getting sudden wealth and they are getting poverty with the choice that they made. A great fortune is coming to you. Libra energy. The word wants to be written. So maybe you are a writer or maybe you are writing to a court or you are writing something. The word wants to be written that's going to bring you in sudden wealth and great fortune. Maybe you are a gifted writer and maybe you should be writing a novel or writing a book or writing letters or writing down the word. Hmm. Your faith is what is going to bring you through. Learning something. Someone is definitely watching you or learning from you. Maybe you are a light for others. Maybe you others are learning from you. It's something about receiving. You're receiving a gift. Maybe you are this gift and you're helping others. But you are a light. And people are learning from you. Maybe it's your time to receive. Keep your... Maybe it's a lover watching you, learning from you. You're inspiring others somehow, and you're receiving some sort of gift here. So you're confident again. You're receiving confidence. This is going to help you feel confident. You are being noticed. You're not invisible, but you're mysterious. So somebody's trying to learn from you somehow. It could be an emperor who's in poverty and despair. Now this is a partnership or teamwork, a business opportunity, or you're on a platform. Someone is observing you, learning from you. This is, you're receiving some sort of gift from a court, from a lover, or some sort of community is involved here. So this could be your community. You're part of a community. You are receiving a gift from someone in your community. Maybe you've joined a community or an association and you're receiving these gifts through that. So this person rejected the offer. Here you are. This could be a legal matter that you are receiving these gifts from. This is just you receiving clarity and truth about something. Mm. You may have blocked someone or you need to block someone this is forming allegiances and cutting off allegiances, cutting people out of your life that do not belong there. And it even could be a lover.
but it's like keeping your ideas to yourself at this time. There you are, strong, powerful, and confident. So what's going on here? This person is in despair somehow. The person around you is in despair. Someone is offering or proposing, making some kind of offer to this Queen of Wands. It's like they're stuck and in despair, this King of Wands. This is an emperor who may have chosen between two lovers. It's like they want to give you a gift. I don't know, maybe you are part of the tarot community or a spiritual community and you're well respected and this person is watching you, but it's like, Mm. Somebody's words have confused somebody. Mm. Blocking their happiness or about this child. It's almost like somebody is going to court because somebody is refusing to let them see their child if they make this offer to this Queen of Wands. There could be some kind of bankruptcy or child issues going on. Mm. This person is in despair, going broke because they're going to court, paying for something about a child. It is a court. So it's almost like this person is going broke. Well, you are receiving great fortune. And it's like, it is to do with court. I'm telling you, somebody is denying someone, um, blocking someone from seeing their child. They're going to court about a child. It's when it all costs here. Jealousy, envy, conflict. This person is stressing out. They are in despair. They're feeling stuck, depressed. They are, well, this is this releasing allegiances. So their allegiance was to someone else. They did something risky or foolish or they feel like they did something risky and foolish. Oh, so there is some deception here or some theft. What? And maybe someone has to go to court. It's like stealing someone's a court battle, a court fight. There could have been a physical altercation. Somebody was thieving and it's like, I don't know, somebody could be going to jail.
somebody was pulling the wool over somebody's eyes. They were sneaking around or they were thieving, stealing. Uh, this could be that they were fighting and arguing or somebody accusing somebody of some kind of physical assault or battery. They could be going to jail. And because of it, someone is denying them access to a child or something like that. Shock and This is a King of Cups getting, uh, looking at this Empress. Someone was thinking they didn't have enough money or something like that. Or they were thinking that this Empress was greedy. I don't know, it's like they're angry about their money. They're angry that they're going broke. I don't know what this is. They could be angry that you've got this abundance. They could be resentful that you're getting this great fortune, this sudden wealth. They're pissed off because they're going broke. Well, they made their choice, like, and now they want to offer something to this Empress, this Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Because they're heavily burdened with their choice. Something about they're angry about some kind of confusion or delusion. This could be someone overanalyzing or overthinking. I don't know. Thinking about this news. Oh. Feeling betrayed. Something was deceptive. Something has, they were deceived. And they're angry because it's to do with money. Something, what the hell is this? Ooh, it's their money. <laughs> They're hurt. Hmm. So they're hurting financially and they're angry that they were deceived somehow. They're feeling uh, oh my god so it is. You've got sudden wealth and that's why they're angry because they're seeing you've got sudden wealth. Great fortune. Hmm. family and friends or searching for greener grass or waiting for their soulmate who is now successful a star longing for their soulmate who is now getting great fortune and success longing or Waiting to move or travel. Hmm. 
slow things tables have turned. Their greed has gotten the better of them. They thought wish fulfillment was out there. They thought they were going to get wish fulfillment by searching somewhere else. And maybe they were traveling and maybe they were doing this and doing that. Now they're seeing that you are getting a financial windfall, great fortune, sudden wealth. The tables have turned. They're going broke. They were selfish, greedy. They walked away from you or you walked away from them. They went toward a baby mama energy, started screwing around, and now there's children involved. And now they're ashamed, regretting that they did this. This is at a distant horizon. Huh. There could be some kind of evidence that they were a player the player got played here there's evidence or proof of this somebody could be getting arrested and yeah now they're hurting because they've gotten the truth and the clarity plans Hmm. So they were, they're planning on giving some kind of evidence or truth or clarity. They've been accused of something or these are accusations. Oh. Seeing the truth about the devil here. Resisting temptation. I should have resisted temptation. This is pushing the devil away. This is avoiding the devil. This is seeing the truth about the devil. That's greed. That's temptation. That's lust. That's trying to avoid something. Seeing the truth and the clarity. Mm, something to do with work. They made the wrong judgment, I can tell you that. Hmm. They are planning to cut this devil out. <laughs> That's what they're planning to do. They're planning to cut allegiances with this devil. Karmic energy. Or they're working on a plan to have a victory or a judgment to end something legally, wanting to communicate something. Spirit is saying. The word wants to be written, so they may be wanting to communicate with you, write you a message, write you a letter, say something to you. Maybe they want to give you a written apology, a verbal apology. It's like surrendering allegiances surrendering allegiances to people that are untrustworthy because this person wants to rebirth something with you because they see that you are getting this great fortune you are being cautioned not to trust this person because they want to come back around now that you've gotten all this victory and success and maybe you are being noticed
this person is avoiding or has to give their defense, their truth. They're planning on some sort of communication. They might be saying that they have been accused. They might be telling you This is avoiding toxic people. Maybe they are severing relationships. Maybe they've got burnt where they are and they're severing uh, relationships with these toxic people that they work with or they've been working with. And it's like... They're severing ties with people. They can't trust these people that they're associating with. These are untrustworthy, low vibrational energies that this person has been listening to, but they've gotten the truth and the clarity. And it's like they were trying to keep the truth The word wants to be written. This person allowed other people the word what they want to communicate they want the written word some kind of written apology this is some kind of legal situation going on here somebody has accused them of physical assault and battery or something like that they've had to go to court to give their defense it's like they want some kind of written apology Maybe they want to send you a written apology. It's like, there's evidence here. So it's like they got to go to court to present some kind of evidence. The karmic has accused this person of some kind of physical violence. I don't know what this is saying. All I do know is their word wants to be written. This is written communication and an apology for ending something. This is about transformation rebirthing something with you because you're getting a great fortune it's like maybe they're thinking maybe if i tell them i've i'm avoiding the karmic or i've been hurt by the karmic that this karmic is putting them through the mud they are causing them to go broke. They are causing them some sort of bankruptcy. They are costing them a lot of money. And you're getting sudden wealth. And now this person wants to give you a written apology to come back.
somebody got into some physical altercation or has been the karmic may have accused them or or the karmic has twisted the story somehow saying that this person has physically assaulted them and done this to them and done that to them and it was for financial gain it's almost like blackmail if you don't give me what i want i'm going to say you physically assaulted me maybe i'm going to say you physically assaulted a, a child I'm not letting you see the child unless you give me what I want. It's accusations here. And they're having to give a legal defense somehow. And it's like this person is saying that they owe you a big ass apology and something to do with the written apology somebody has to make some kind of written apology so uh, you're being congratulated for something you did successfully and you're being gifted and this person is going through poverty and there is some kind of despair of poverty over a child you're being gifted great fortune and congratulated Something shisty going on there. That's all I do know. The word wants to be written. Every journey starts with a single step. Have faith in the process. Dream a beautiful dream. You are releasing allegiances to people that you thought were your people. It's something like they figure if they make you some type of written apology that it's either the karmic has to make a written apology or your person has to apologize to you for wronging you for Something is going on. Maybe they figure if they write a written apology or something like that, that they're not going to have to face some kind of judgment. That's all I do know. This person wants to write you a written apology. They owe you a huge apology. Maybe you got blamed for something or you got accused of something or they accused you of something and now they owe you a huge, huge apology for whatever they did. And it's like...
something really shifty going on over there. It's costing them a whole lot of money. Poverty, bankruptcy. They want to write you. By the sounds of it, they owe you a million apologies for whatever they've done to you. Somebody has accused them of something the truth is coming out in court and somebody is making someone a sincere apology, owes you a sincere apology and the word wants to be written so someone's conscience is bothering them. They may have accused you of something. They may have accused and betrayed you listening to other people. And now they're being betrayed. And it's like, oh my God, I owe, I owe a huge apology to somebody. But they are looking at you as sudden wealth. That's why they want this new beginning with you. I don't like their energy. Win at all costs. Mind games. An unexpected turn of events. Hmm. You're receiving good news. Unexpectedly. A lot of abundance. Mm. Keep it secret. Mm. Keep it close to your chest. Because someone is trying to dig up dirt here by the looks of it. Hmm. Because you could be receiving some kind of information, something about hmm. Success. <laughs> hmm. This person wants to apologize to come toward you because they think that you got some fame or fortune here. That's the truth. They're looking into you and seeing that you're getting some kind of fortune or some kind of success, fame or fortune somehow. And that's why they want to come back. 
Take care.